y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife, and I'm here with Creative Retreat Kits, working on the brand new January kit called Upside Down Kingdom. And it was written by Rebecca Ferris. I am working with the digitals today because I'm still waiting for my kit to arrive with all of the craziness of shipping and COVID and delays. My kit is on its way to me as we speak, but that doesn't mean that I can't jump into the kit and it is a good devotion this month, you guys. It is awesome. You are going to love it. It's all about changing our thinking, changing how we look at um, what we plan, what we value, what we get um, value from. And so I am excited to jump into this kit. I've printed out the devotional and then I have the digitals right here. And of course you can get the faith-filled digitals that have these cards and again, some more fun elements here. And I was super excited to find something really cool and that is printable glitter paper. And so I don't know if you can see this, it has a shimmer to it. I used this glitter paper to print my cards out and I'm going to use them to make a card ring to study for this month. So I have all my supplies gathered here. I also have some other cards from Felicity Jane that I had in my stash and a few scraps over here that I will probably use. Otherwise, I will definitely list all the supplies that I use down below if you want to check them out. And I will put you guys on fast forward and we'll get going. Let's go. I am absolutely loving this glitter paper. It's a really light shimmer and it does not shed off. I think it's just a fun way to add a little extra to your printables. So it's definitely something that I will be using again. I like experimenting with different ways to kind of extend the use of the printable pieces that you have to change them up and make them unique. And I think this is one of the ways to do that. So I printed out my cards and then I put them through my typewriter and added the verses that are referenced in the devotional so that as I'm adding to the cards, they are there. So if it was a single verse, I typed it out. Otherwise, um, Matthew 5 was mentioned. So I just typed the reference to Matthew 5 and then I will pull out my Bible and study that as I come to that point in um, my cards and in my study. Now, to add a little bit more interest to the back of these cards, they are just white. I'm using some of the paper that is included in the kit. So you have the back of the devotional, which is always a beautiful pattern. I love, love, love it. And then in the faith-filled digitals, there is another gorgeous pattern. So I'm going to add that on a couple of cards. And just to change it up, I've pulled out my scraps from Felicity Jane, and I will just pull out a really light pink, just a simple pattern that goes along with this devotional and add that to another card. So I'll do two of each pattern. I've kind of planned out the order that I want them in and it works out really well because there are six different cards and there's actually six different questions included as part of the devotional questions to reflect on. And so each card will have one of those questions on it. So I just kind of put them in a pattern. I tried to associate the verses with the questions that I thought were pertinent to those verses. Um, and of course it will all be cross-referenced as you study. You guys know um, that's how it kind of works, but just adding a little bit more interest to the back of these cards and then I will combine them with those Felicity Jane cards that I had pulled out from earlier. Okay, so I am going to pair up the cards. I have one of the glitter cards that comes with the kit paired with a Felicity Jane card. What I like about the Felicity Jane cards is that there's a grid on the back so I can write very easily. And I have my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile. And what I'm doing is I'm punching a hole and then I'm picking up an eyelet and I will set those eyelets in there in just a moment. And then I will be able to turn the cards, if that makes sense. Kind of like they're on a brad, but this way I'll be able to keep them on a ring all together. So I've put in all my eyelets. Now I use a different part of the crocodile to then set those eyelets in place. And it's a pretty cool tool and it's a nice way to add a little finishing touch. You could certainly just punch holes in these with a regular hole punch and put them on your ring. I just like to protect them a little bit more and I like that they're going to stick together. So see how it opens and closes. And then I will be able to add my reflection questions. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna trim out the questions, and like I said, it works out really well. There are six cards and six questions, so I will just put one question on the back of each card, and then I will add just a little bit from the digitals, just one little embellishment. I wanna just kind of put this set together and leave room for it to be embellished even more as I study, as I get to each question in the set. So I'm gonna trim out one of the circles right here, and I'm gonna actually use the these uh, bolder shapes over here, the circles and the oval, um, to just add one little embellishment on the back of each card. And then the idea is that I have a card with grid on the opposite side that I will be able to answer the question on. And then the back where I have the Felicity Jane cards that already have some decor, I'll be able to add some more embellishments, some more um, artwork as I work through the devotional. Since this yellow card is the title card, I'm actually cutting out the front of the devotional that has the title of the devotional, Upside Down Kingdom, just trimming that out, fussy cutting it out as best I can. And then I'll attach that right there um, so that it's kind of the title card for the whole stack. And then once that's on, I went into my creative retreat kit stash and pulled out some alphas from a previous kit. I love that we are able to mix and match different kits and I've loved, loved, loved all the alphas we've gotten recently. I just like the, um, how it's mixing the different type together. I think that is so fun and actually really appropriate for this particular devotional. So I'm just using that to add January. So I remember, um, what month this one is from adding that right in. And then that front card will be done and I'll just kind of follow the same process with the rest of the cards adding the question adding a slight embellishment and then um, leaving room to answer the questions on the corresponding cards I love this kit for the new year because of course January 1st the beginning of January is where uh, we're all trying to kind of set new habits we're trying to find new joy in different ways, find our wellness, find um, all kinds of things. I feel like January is kind of a month of searching and we are often just tempted to follow what the world tells us to do, follow certain diets, follow um, certain rituals or habits that everyone says will be what brings us happiness. And in the end, it's just not what God always leads us to do. Now, I mean, there's certainly a time and a place for getting well and healthy and, and treating your body um, like the temple that it is that God created. But there's also a difference between just loving yourself because you are the daughter of a king and loving yourself because you look a certain way or weigh a certain weight. So I think um, it's just a really timely devotional. I am loving it and I can't wait to dig in deeper. All right, this is the last card and they are all set. I'll just put them on my ring and now I am ready to study, jump in and take notes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. There are so many great videos over here on the Creative Retreat uh, channel. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.